Welcome to the Fret Frontier. This episode continues our series on how to play Paint It Black on your baritone ukulele. In this part, we're going to be returning to section A. So we have this. Going on in section A, first time through. Second time through, when we're repeating after we've played section B, we come back to section A, we're going to change it up a little bit by moving to the first string for our harmonized drone. So we're going to take the same line that we played before and just instead of hitting the second string, for the first four bars, we're gonna hit the first string, the E string. And it'll sound like this. And then we return. Back to that second string. So four bars using the first string as the drone and four bars using the second string as the drone. Now you can control uh, the sound of that drone either using your index finger or your second finger when you're doing that first string. When I played it for you just now, I'm using the second finger on the first string and the first finger on the second string. So you kind of already know that part. You're just adjusting that drone. You're getting that first string for the first four bars, and then you're getting the second string for that next four bars. Now, when we come up to section B, we're going to replace that with a little improvised movement of harmonized notes where we're using our fourth string, and our second string. So in terms of what's going on the fourth string, we're basically just moving a bass line down. So our first four bars, we start off on that 14th fret, play it twice, 12th fret twice, 11th fret, 10th fret. Then that's what's happening on the fourth string. And now we're gonna couple that with a harmonized note on the second string that we will actually be fretting. So let's take a look at the first four bars of that. So when we're playing this 14th fret on our fourth string, we are going to accompany that or harmonize it with the 12th fret of the second string. So you can do your third finger on the fourth string, your first finger on the second string, and then pluck those together. So for now, we're just going to work on the harmonized parts. We'll add the drone in after we get this laid out and we know where we're actually going to be going with our uh, left hand then we'll focus on the right hand in the next episode so we've got our index finger on that second string thumb on the fourth string on this right hand we're going to pluck them together and again gently right we're not doing we don't have to fall through it's not a rust stroke just a gentle pinching of that thumb and the first finger together Okay. So when we play the 14th fret and the 12th fret together, we do that two times. So we have uh, on our uh, notation here, you'll see up on the screen, we've got quarter notes there. We've got 14 and 12, 14 and 12, and then 12 and 12. So we're moving that bass line down. Now you can do whatever is comfortable for you with the fingering. If you want to do a more traditional fingering style, you could have first finger here and third finger on the fourth string when you do 14 and 12 together. Then you could switch to something like your second finger on that 12th fret, and then the third finger on the 12th fret of the second string like this. But for me, that's too much uh, motion when I want to add in that finger picking pattern that's going to come later when I add this. And so I just want to quickly be able to move over and I'm comfortable having my second finger stacked over my first finger. So you can again do whatever is comfortable for you, but this is what you'll see me doing. Then I'm going to move down to my uh, 11th fret on the fourth string and the 10th fret on the second string. Do that twice. And then I'm going to do the 10th fret on the fourth string and leave my first finger right where it is on the second string. Okay, and then that repeats. So when I come over to this ninth fret, now I want to harmonize something with that on the second string, and I'm going to use this eighth fret. So I've got my second finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string, first finger on the eighth fret of the second string, and we do that four times. So we have four quarter notes there. One, two, three, four. Okay, 
Then we come over to the seventh fret, right? That's our next bass note. We're gonna just move our second finger down. So we were on nine. Now we're gonna be on seven with that uh, second finger on the fourth string. Then take the third finger, put that on the seventh fret on the second string. So they're stacked over each other. And then four beats of that. One, two, three, four. When we come down to the fifth fret, remember that's our bass line. We're moving down here. So we've got the exact same position. We can just take that second and third finger configuration, move it down, and we've got the fifth fret on the fourth string and the fifth fret on the second string. Now, when you have something like this, okay, just a little suggestion for when you're moving down, a lot of times these uh, wound bass strings, they'll squeak a little bit if you keep your finger on it. So if you want to help you uh, help yourself keep the position but not hear any noise from your fingers, you can keep that third finger on the second fret. And then after you've played these, lift just enough with that second finger so that it's not touching the string, doesn't squeak. Slide down with that third finger until you get to the fifth fret and then just put your second finger back down again. A little bit of economy of motion helps you to play that passage a little more smoothly. So now we're on five and five. Okay, fifth fret, fourth string, fifth fret, second string, four beats. One, two, three, four. Then we come down to the fourth fret. It's still gonna be that second finger. And now we're gonna add our first finger onto the third fret of the second string. Do that for four beats. One, Now we move on to the next group of four measures. We come down to the second fret on our fourth string. This is our bass note, and we're going to couple that with the first fret of the second string. Okay, so we've got second finger here, first finger here, and we've got four beats of that. One, two, three, four. In the next measure, we've got, we start off right there, we've got one, two on the third beat, we want to add the third fret under the second string and on this hand on your left hand you can use your little finger or your third finger whatever is comfortable for you so you're actually switching to you know this combination here two and three but we never have to let go of this first finger on that second fret because we're going to come right back to it so again economy of motion comfort in your hand we'll just keep that first finger down there okay so not going to move it at all Keep the first finger there, add the third finger or fourth finger, whichever you choose, onto that third fret, whatever feels the most comfortable. We strike those together, third fret and second fret, and then back to that first fret and second fret. So let's do just that measure there, that second measure. One, two, three, four. All right. Now our next bass note is the first fret of the fourth string and we're going to couple that with the second string open and we're going to do that for two sets of four beats so eight beats all together one two three four two two three four we repeat that in the next set of four bars Okay, so for those of you that would like to hang out with me a little bit longer, we can play what we have here end to end, okay? So we'll, it'll sound like it stops a little bit, the momentum, when we come over and we do these pieces here, but we will play it together. One thing I'll suggest, what you might want to do on section B, if you feel like it, if these are coming along pretty good, these items together like this, you can add your second finger into the mix and just play that uh, first string open so that would sound like this okay and you can do that you can switch it back and forth and so when i play it through for you sometimes i'll add that e on the top and sometimes i won't and uh, over here on this hand right this hand that's involved here you'd have your thumb doing your bass note fourth string all the time on section b for what we're doing here first finger is going to be on the second string all the time and then if you want to add that uh, first string in you're going to use your second finger and they're going to pluck together just very evenly over and over okay there we go all right play together in the count to four one two three four e string is our drum the E added there 
This is it without the E on the top. So work on that, uh, get it so it feels comfortable and you know where you're placing your fingers for our little improvised part that gives us our sense of escalation in section B. In the next episode, we'll add the finger picking pattern in there that gives us that sound of rapid descent by adding in um, the finger pattern. To what we just learned there okay so we could focus on one piece at a time thanks so much for joining me hope you're enjoying this and i'll see you in the next episode